Welcome to Ecanic. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to troubleshoot the electronic power steering on Mazda vehicles. Uh, we're going to use the Ecanic scanner. You need to plug the Ecanic adapter under the OBD2 port that's located underneath the dashboard. And then uh, you turn on the ignition by pressing uh, the start button twice without pressing the brake pedal. That's going to turn on all your dash lights. Once your dash lights are on, then you can go ahead and turn on the Ucanic scanner and then go to diagnostic and then select Mazda and do select smart VIN it's going to detect your model here we're working on a 2021 Mazda CX-9 press yes go to control modules and scroll down until you see the electronic control power steering or EPS here you select it now if you get uh, to this screen then you're con connected to the electronic um, electronic power control power steering module uh, but if you know uh, if you get no communication then the module could be defective so you want to check the fuses and you might want to um, make sure that you're getting power to the module first um, because that is a common issue that the, the just the electronic power steering motor just fails and then um, you'll get no communication here and very heavy steering wheel. Uh, but if you get to this point, if you got like another warning on the dash uh, related to the um, electronic power steering, then you can come here, you can read the codes, and then this, um, do not touch any buttons while uh, you read the codes, it runs a couple of tests automatically, and then you see the codes. And if you have over like five or 10 codes, the car might not have been scanned for a really long time, and it could have been like it's an issue in the past, the battery died, voltage dropped too low, and things like that. Uh, so there might not be a current problem. So what you can do is you can just save the codes, email and print them, whatever you'd like, uh, just so you can look at them later if need be. Uh, but once you have saved them, you can come in here and then you can clear them because uh, a lot of times these codes, if, especially if you've got too many codes showing in there, can be misleading because they are not current issues so once you clear those codes um, old codes are going to just clear but if there's any issue that's still current you can just drive the car for a couple of minutes or maybe a couple of driving cycles and the code that's actually the issue is going to return and show back up in there so another thing that you could do is you could do it live data this can be also very helpful because it shows you uh, what is being monitored by electronic power steering control unit and um, select all and press ok it shows you that data live whether it's you know torque or some temperature or different data that's important amperage um, for example this is very important module supply voltage this uh, vehicle does not have an issue so you can um, use this as kind of reference values that you see in the screen here now the car is not running so a lot of these are just zero but if you start the engine, um, then you will be able to see these values uh, change. So let me go ahead and start the engine. And then you can see some of these values now are being updated. Just the vehicle right now is being it's on idle. But you can also graph this data. And then the other thing that you could do is you can go to quick scan and run a full scan on the vehicle a lot of times you might have a full code in one of the other control units that points you to the issue that's going on with your vehicle and that's it thank you for watching mechanic where you can be the mechanic